what do you do now? Well, now I'm the rector of Oscott College, which means it's a bit like the head teacher of your school. It's my job to look after the whole place. Obviously, I don't do everything myself. There's lots of staff here, loads of people who work here, and they all do different things. But in a sense, all that jobs, they all refer back to me. They uh, ask me questions about how should we do this, do you want us to do that or this. So most of my job is uh, sort of advising and directing other people in their work because a big college like this wouldn't work if it was just one person working. There's lots of people working. And then as well as running the college in that way, my main job is to decide which students will become priests and which ones won't, which is a bit difficult sometimes to decide. But some people would make great priests and other people might not be so good at being a priest and they might be better off doing something different. And that's probably, well it is, that's the hardest part of my job, uh, making that decision. Because sometimes people don't agree with me and they aren't very happy with my decision. One of the most recent sort of exciting happy memories was when the Pope who's the head of the Catholic Church. Um, amazingly, uh, he rarely comes to England. Uh, the Pope's only been to England twice in the whole of history. Uh, Pope John Paul II came um, to England in 1982. And then Pope Benedict came to England uh, in 2010. And he came to this college here, came here for lunch. So it was a very, very exciting day. Uh, I shall never forget all the preparations beforehand for months in advance and we had the, the police and the foreign office, the home office, special branch checking the building and the, they looked down every drain hole and gutter through the whole building checking the place, the security men. And uh, that morning all the preparations because we got to feed um, nearly 500 people that day in this building so uh, it was a very exciting day and I'll never forget the sound of the helicopters because that meant that the entourage of cars was coming up College Road. And uh, when I heard the helicopters, I thought, it's going to be here any second. And when the cars pulled up at the front door, I had to go out the front door and to greet the Pope. And I was really worried I was going to trip and fall, but I didn't, thank God.